Many years after the 2008 crisis were savers, they were getting the bottom side of all the deals. Rates were pressured basically to zero. They've had much better time of late, but with banks thinking there's three, maybe four eases built in, that mentality actually is going to have a psychological effect on the institution, thus the saver. Let's talk to that. Right. And, uh, investors at this point in time want safety. They're looking to ways to trim the volatility in their portfolios. They had the benefit of increases in rates over the past year or so, but now that the fo forecasts are actually cut to the downside, banks are going to be a little bit more hesitant to actually uh, show those investors a little bit more interest on those savings accounts. So effectively, a ceiling has been put on the safety of yields, which investors can actually take at this point in time and earn. Investors have to think more holistically about how to right, effectively manage it. Right, now there's an optionality. They, exactly. they, if an investor believes in a half full scenario with regard to the rest of the business cycle and a bank doesn't, that's going to have a, a, an effect. So they may have to alter their strategy. Well, a good defense is probably the right place to be at this point in time, given the uncertainty. The Fed is going to have uh, you know, changing in forecasts. Some people believe it's three to four cuts. Others don't. Ultimately, investors are going to have to search what that cost of safety is going to be, effectively through lower yields. So they're going to have to broaden the net a bit, thinking outside the traditional savings uh, arenas of money market funds and, uh, and savings accounts. And so thinking two ways to be defensive, take advantage of those higher rates actually at the front end right now through floating rate securities, senior floating rate securities, is actually not a bad place. They take advantage of higher current income along the way and effectively bring forward the uh, notion that investors can actually earn two and a half to three percent in short dated securities and still be defensive even though the Fed might cut rates over the foreseeable future. Now in the corporate side, and of course corporates offer an alternative to governments and sometimes at a higher yield, the Barclays spread now uh, is roughly about 127 basis points. Is it worth moving for the extra risk into a corporate security? Well, we've been defensive of corporate credit for quite some time at PIMCO uh, since early 2018. So it's important to be selective in terms of that risk. So thinking about it as a beta, as an index, is actually not the right place to think about it. But you can find some opportunities in selective, high-quality credits actually that are short dated and self liquidating that offer some additional yield well above treasury yields, well above T-bill yields more importantly, that offer you compensation of 50 to 100 basis points or more. And in this low rate environment, quite honestly, you know, 50 or 100 basis points is a lot to save or it's to huge. be defensive. Exactly. And, and many of these securities, we can follow the default trends and the default trends in the higher quality corporates has been on the very slim side, has it not? Yeah, exactly. And so when you want to think about it, that through active management, you can actually alleviate a lot of the tail risks. Be selective, find, uh, find assets that are actually high in quality, maybe right for upgrades in this environment, and also steer clear of those that are uh, potential for downgrades, that have M&A activity, uh, re-leveraging, et cetera. So there is actually some optionality here to be defensive, earn a little bit more yield, and not necessarily fall into this trap of the savings, uh, low-yield savings accounts.